Hi there, it's Rob, and we're on to video number 16, and this time we're going to cover offline marketing and local search, okay? Now, um, that's like saying start your own business. It's that vague, but I will kind of try and package it as this, because where do I fit in an old school business? Now, let me let me go this. Uh, in case I haven't, and, and, I, and I do mention this a lot, complain about how old I am, I'm 60 years, 59 years old this year, 59, yeah, that's it, I don't know how old I am, 59 years old this year. And when I grew up, up until 10 or 15 years ago, if you wanted to start a business, you only had your own eyes and kind of to research, okay? So you think to yourself, hey, I want to start a coffee shop, okay? So sorry that I'm going far off of track so fast here. And so how you would do that is you'd go and sit in a coffee shop and try and count how many people are coming in and out. You'd go to the, the owner of that mall or place and ask how much are rentals. And you would you'd go and look at one good way of finding out is go and look at businesses for sale. So you can go, there's a guy offering his coffee shop for sale. He's asking $15,000 for it. His profit is uh, $5,000 a month, X, Y, Z and his overheads and his hours, and you'd look at this all, and you'd decide, okay, I'm gonna go into business doing a coffee shop. And in those days, you knew you were in for two years of no money, two years of stress. You, you're literally risking your parents' house uh, because of an extra mortgage, and whatever it is, you've, you've kind of put your neck out there. Nowadays, here I am teaching you how you to make money, um, by following my training, yes, which is $35 a month, but at the cost of your hosting and a little bit of an effort and six months of, of hard work, and you can be making three times more than this person's coffee shop and the coffee shop, you'd have had to pitch up there at six in the morning. Okay, so maybe nine o'clock in the morning, but you're there until nine o'clock at night and you've got staff and you've got... Um, strikes and all sorts of evilness that come with it staff and pregnant things and and drunk customer and, and clients and and uh, drunk staff and hell get drink getting drunk yourself to try and get through the day so if you still love an old school business idea hey what with pleasure <laughs> after i finish grumbling like now now for three minutes about that i will show you how to set it up so you can be a hairdresser from your house if that's what you want to do. So you've got fibromyalgia, all your clients know it, and you might at any drop of the hat phone a clients and say, look, I know you said you're, you're coming to get your hair done at lunchtime today. I'm not coping today. I have to bump you till Thursday, please. I'm sorry about that. And you go back to bed. You phone all six clients for the day. You bump them all to Thursday and you go lie down. So you can cope with the fibromyalgia and an old school business if it's your own business from home and your customers know what's up with you. Okay, so hey, don't let me run you out. At the same time, I spend my life here. Remember, I'm new here in Canada and I'm looking for a nice way to make money. Uh, I can't yet because I'm, I don't have my, what do you call that thing? Permanent residency yet. It's coming through, it'll, it'll happen. But until then, I can run these businesses of mine that I've been running before I got here. That's cool. But anyway, so when I've got my I'm think, permanent residence, I'm thinking of starting something. Whether I go back to making hammocks, I was thinking, I do it all the time. I walk around here walking my dogs and I look at all the garage doors and think, yay, some of these doors and front doors could enjoy a bit of stained glass because I'm creative. So now I go and buy a standard door, I put in a stained glass panel and I charge double for that door and I'll get away with it. So, yeah, even I still often mocking this old school business, it works. Now, here's why. Offline marketing, um, let me just jump from here to Google. Sorry about all of this open from the last video. Let me get rid of it all. I'm going to leave this open and I'm going to go here and look for uh, HVAC. Hell, let's just do HVAC. I'm told, by the way, it's something about air conditioner and home something. 
I never did says it what it is here. Yeah, I'm amused. I, I did Reese. Here we go. So it tells me that 300,000 people look it up, but I'm in Brantford. What does it do? It tells me local search. Can you see? This is local search. Local search here. Yeah, Brantford. Brantford. Can you see how many times Brantford comes up? Brantford Air Conditioner. Brantford Mechanical. Air Conditioner. Cambridge, Ontario. Hearth and Home. Brantford. All of these searches. And these results come up for here. Anything that is local. Try pizza. Come on. Pizza's local search. Google even tells me near me. Google wants pizzas near me. And what do we do? Check all the keywords. Domino's, Luciano's, Maria's, Stromboli. Sorry about strange accents. Especially those of you that are from Stromboli land. Check it out. Local search. Okay. Uh, I can also show you how to, sorry, I'm drifting around aimlessly on my other screen here. That's why I sound like I've gone away out the room. Check it out. This is how to do local search properly. Step by step guide. Come on, easy peasy people. You just have to do all of this. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to put all of this into videos for you. Sooner or later. In fact, soon, more, sooner rather than later. So that's how to make local search and offline marketing work. And you can set up your own school, old school business. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to be in business, I'll, I'll give you access to the, all those videos. And you can go and set up your hairdressing salon. Uh, bingo. And you're in business in a few weeks. GMB is Google My Business. That's that three pack, those maps that I showed you. That's part of that. You can equally, you don't have, to have to have a hairdressing business. But you can rank a hairdressing business or kitchen units or it doesn't matter appliance repairs a website and rank it and then you rent the the leads out so you're basically selling the leads so there's lead generation you can rent the entire website out that's called rank and rent so you rank it and then they pay you ten thousand dollars a month and you send them all of those swimming pool leads or you generate the same website it's ranking and you take those leads and you sell them to three companies and they pay X amount of money and every client knows they're going to get you. You've gone to the trouble of finding the top three kitchen companies. Of course, these top three are the top three that are willing to pay you. And you will then get them three quotes, three quotes, three quotes. And the clients love it. And these guys get they know who they're competing against. They all adjust their, their pricing accordingly. It's all good. I added this at the last second, offline marketing, local search. Uh, by the way, I've got to tell you that these two, SEO and related services and offline marketing and local search, is what I've been doing for the last five or ten years. And I'm over it because of its clients. So now we come back to this. My question is always, sorry, I have to open this again. Is, is this for fit for fibro? No. Because you've got clients and clients that are paying you, let's come on, let's go here. What did I just say? You pay the $10,000, even if it's $2,000. They're paying you $2,000 a month uh, for your website and they're getting, this month they get 80 leads, next month they get 60, then they get 120, then they get 40 leads and 40 leads. And they, on the phone, <laughs> for me, that level of stress, I'll be in bed for three days with pain. Because my stress, I'm, I'm susceptible to, to that level of stress. So, same with websites. With my ability to cope, there are days when I can't put out more than half an hour's work at, at my peak. Oh, I can answer emails and answer the phone and, and make this level of video. But to actually get out there and do decent design work on a website for a specific thing or a function, no. Now the clients paid you. Come on, Rob, what's happening? Now, to be honest, most of the time clients are cool. Um, but you get those clients from hell. I've had them. I've fired them, some of them. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, I'm on 9 minutes 45 seconds. Let's just say that I will be doing a lot of videos for this. Um, some of these you can market and get money within weeks. 
let me let me actually stop and 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 go off to uh, no it doesn't matter i could show it to you in this one websites that i own that i'm not doing anything on um but basically it's seo it's local search it's google my business check out for all the videos on how to rank this give it a decision if you want to yourself as i've said even i'm thinking of doing something to do with um, you know stained glass or making lamps or going back into the hammock business making jewelry um i don't plan any of these to be my real income my real income is going to be my authority site or my print on demand or maybe this site you're on your my membership site again i don't plan to keep this site open for 10 years i want to help a few people get somebody up who can cope with all of this that i'm teaching you and sell the whole website to them something like that and i think that's easy enough um i won't worry about that for now okay so let me get out of here uh yeah this is ish but it works and there's lots of options in here hundreds and hundreds of offline marketing um I i'll cover more of the it's also covered in all of these next two as well so check the next videos out and and see you kind of the ground that i cover okay cool cheers